remember the day we met so well. It was my birthday, and there was my dad, smiling mischievously with a box topped by a ridiculously big bow. I could hear rustling coming from inside it. They say dogs are our most loyal friends, and I swear it's true. We've been through so many adventures together that we could write a thrilling adventure novel in several volumes. You've saved me countless times, even without knowing it. And at some point, you became a true superhero to me. Every day together, we grew up side by side, learning together, experiencing new things together. I couldn't imagine my life without you. You were by my side even when I had eye surgery and was in complete darkness during the recovery period. You wouldn't let me feel down just because I could still pet you. You'd nuzzle me with your wet nose and never left my side, even when I was sleeping. But unfortunately, pets aren't immortal. Though I wish you could have lived forever, or at least as long as I did, at that moment, my world dimmed. <laughs> Many years have passed and I'm not alone anymore. I got married, had children, I'm sure you would have adored them, and they would have adored you too, but my heart still feels empty. I haven't gotten another dog since I know that nobody and nothing could replace you. And now, after so many years have passed, I find myself asking one question. Where are you now? Is there a doggy heaven? Are you happy there? Do you get to play whenever you want, and are you enjoying your favorite treats? Where are you? Where are you? Jack? <laughs> I found you! And what are we going to do with her? Are you sure we should follow the law and obey the authorities? Maybe we should keep her for ourselves or release her quietly? What are you talking about? If they find out, they'll go after us! Well, if they don't find out, maybe we can sell her? We can make some money. Alright enough, let her go. I never thought I could survive this. How could people become so cruel? How can they want to harm someone just for fun? It's so cold here. I'm from warm waters. I won't survive here unless I can adapt. I tried to tell them, but they wouldn't listen. <sighs> Never mind. The important thing is that I'm alive and free. Besides, it's so beautiful here. Such clean water. Poor thing, what happened to you? You probably swam somewhere you didn't intend to, right? Don't worry, I'll help you right now. That's it, little one. In our waters, these algae heal wounds, so remember that. What is going on here? At first glance, it looks so beautiful and spacious, but when you look closer, you can feel so much pain for each of you. This is wrong. Well, I'm here now. I'll be able to help all of you! You're a mermaid! We haven't seen mermaids for so long, we thought they all disappeared! Disappeared? You mean mermaids of cold waters went extinct because of a catastrophe? Of course not! They were exterminated! Come on, we need your help! It looks terribly painful. How did this happen? Hunters. It's a good thing you're here. Mermaids used to help us, and they healed us too, but since they vanished, things got really bad. Wait, I'm not... Enough! What is happening here? What have people done? At what point did everything go wrong? I truly, truly want to help each and every one of you, but I just can't. And it's terrible because... Have you ever thought about the fact that there's another side? 
We are accustomed to categorizing animals into two groups, beloved pets and those considered wild. With pets, it's clear. They often live in warmth, surrounded by love, having their toys, a roof over their heads, and caring owners. They're well off. They don't need to fight for survival anymore. They're fed and sheltered. Wild nature is diverse. Among them are those that can't be tamed. Those who, in the course of evolution, developed abilities and adaptations to help them survive, and are still actively using them. Those who hunt, and those who are hunted. Then there are those who are held in captivity against their will. Animals in circuses. Zoo animals are often kept in improper conditions and driven to exhaustion. The only thing that somewhat resembles compassion is reserves, created to preserve endangered species. But what if it wasn't for humans? Would these species even be on the brink of extinction? Then there's an even worse side. Laboratory animals. Those over which experiments are conducted, creating medicines and testing cosmetics. Just think about it. Hundreds of thousands of animals' lives sacrificed simply for you to be able to buy foundation or lipstick, even though killing them isn't necessary for that. There are brands that don't test cosmetics on animals, and they're just as successful, and among other things, not marked as killers. They will die. They'll die at the whim of humans. And all for what? Thanks for watching. Check the latest episode and also playlist with similar episodes like this one. See you in the next video.